So, I've got an idea right now on starting this episode. Welcome back to the 72nd episode of the Nobs FC Career Mode, guys. I'm thinking, because of the formation we're playing right now, I'm thinking of maybe changing Georgi Tunjov to a central midfielder. Now, it's going to take about 147 weeks, but we can maybe still play him as a defensive midfielder. Now, maybe this could work out because right now we've swapped to the formation of the 4-3-1-2, the 4-1-2-1-2, narrow, whatever you'd like to call it. James Garner, if we take a look at his development plan, he's currently a defensive midfielder, but maybe if we change him to a central midfielder, and don't worry, it, it doesn't make sense that like it trains his skill move. So maybe we could just try to put Tunjov's development plan as a central midfielder because it makes his long shots go up and then what we can do is just continue to play Tunjov as a defensive midfielder and James Garner instead of dropping while playing as a central midfielder it actually makes him go up so his skill moves guys I'm gonna keep them at two star whenever they go up I'm gonna put them back down to two star so I think this is what I'm gonna go ahead and do put James Garner's development plan as a central midfielder because it helps out his finishing his attack positioning his long shots same thing with George Tunjov we haven't seen him score an absolute banger the only thing is that his shot power is not going up but maybe if you know his long shots do go up right now he's 81 defending 81 physical so that's massive for Tunjov which I'm very very happy about Crash wants to jump off the bed but we'll get to that soon I'll move him <laughs> but yeah his long shots can go up his finishing can go up his passing is gonna go up and his dribbling as well so I always wanted to make Tunjov into such a well well rounded player and that's what he actually has been and yeah, guys, it, it, he went down in overall because he had that five-day injury. I don't know why five days made him drop, but he'll get back up there. It just doesn't make any sense. And last episode, I was looking through the comments, and I told you guys to put in the comments who you think should be the player of the episode. And the majority said either Nishimura, either Lance Cairns, but I think it should be going to Al Sharani. He really did keep us in some games. So let's go ahead and give him the player of the episode for last episode. Also, the kit creator contest is still going on as usual it's in the description down below and like i said guys right now i'm looking through all of them and i can see some with a lot of likes 19 likes this one there's 22 on some of them so what i think i'm gonna do is whenever we're at the end if i see they have a lot of likes i'll probably take the highest liked ones right now just right here on this page there's this one all i can do is just do opening kit creator and that's why i didn't need you guys to put all the markings and all that and just apply so i'll probably take the top three and then you guys can actually go ahead and vote so maybe if people didn't use the fifa kit creator if they just didn't know about it but i i think i've said it in every single episode probably going to be picking the top three with the most likes at the end of the season or maybe next season at the beginning of the next season but yeah that's still going on let's go ahead and give al shut on his upgrade so if you guys do watch the the milan career mode i scored a free kick last time so maybe it could translate into this series let's take a look at what al sharani's upgrade is going to be all as always plus three and three random stats not the biggest for goalkeeper but at least his speed his acceleration and his vision are going to go up maybe those long balls are actually going to be affected by his vision this is what i'm thinking man alex Allen had one hell of an episode but i'm thinking maybe playing him on the right hand side i don't know i just feel like he's better there garner on that left hand side they're set to cover the wing tunjov drops in between but gets forward too but maybe garner that's why garner is a little bit more defensive tunjov no actually not he's just more well-rounded but yeah guys i think this could go ahead and just be good from now till the end of the season we're playing 17th place aston villa i want to get butcher involved a lot more we can maybe start roman scott in this one george marsh has had some fantastic games and Weke davies on the bench and i'm trying to get some loans out for some of these guys vega i don't want to waste that potential but come and Karen's up top. We've got the smiley on the bench. We got him a goal last time in the derby in Austin Villa. Not a five at the back. I'm so happy. So yeah, Skamaka. Right now the top goal scorer in the Premier League. Nishimura. He's back on track with the assists. I didn't make the calculations, but I think might be close to 100 assists or maybe already at 100 assists. And this is the second FIFA video I'm recording today and it's been a while since i've recorded two episodes in a day so hopefully i'm warmed up from the milan career mode and we'll get the job done i've obviously have such a better team in the milan career mode butcher not complaining taking on all roles that we play him in roman scott looking to get something going early plays in Gianluca Scamacca. keep going roman scott 
Lovely ball by Skamaka. And he's just offside. Garner with his first goal for the club last episode. Two off the penalty. Is he going to be our main penalty taker? Maybe. It was such a, a great penalty. Tunjov, Alex Allen. Great dribbling by Alex Allen. Finding Roman Scott. Space opening up. Roman Scott. He's got Cairns. There's Nishimura. Goes for the header. Not a good header by Tomohiro. Cairns. Great ball from Skamaka. Lansky. Every time Cairns is on the ball, man, every single player just tries as hard as they can to get it off the guy, man. Like, why? Is he that good? Let's bring on George Marsh, see if he can maybe deliver some good balls in to our strikers. Here's the thing, man. Asmai can't play as a midfielder, but it's like, other than Tunjov, Garner, and Alex Allen, we don't have that many midfielders. Maybe we could look at maybe picking one up in the window or loaning one in but that would be our second transfer bringing somebody up from the academy or using somebody that's already there but i'd like to get them out for loan Azmeyer, castro get this away guys get this away that's offside why did we look so lost there guys jerome just came on in place of garner nice block by Kara. alex allen oh maron cairns man what was that cairns veerman that's the end of this one. That's the end of this one as Esposito. Watch the shot, Butcher. Good block by Matt Butcher. Just clear this one away. Full time. Nothing, guys. Absolutely nothing. Stopped us. They limited us to absolutely nothing. And it's one point. Didn't actually realize it, but we've got a couple days left and still two games left until the January transfer window does open. We've got Leicester at home. We've got Spurs away. And then this is when the matches start to come. The matches start to come. I don't know why it's like this. There's so many matches in like quick succession. And then near the end, it's just, I guess, well, I don't know. Maybe it's like that for every single league, but I feel like in, in England, there's just a ton of matches come December, January. We've got West Brom in the third round of the FA Cup. Now, if we'd like to qualify for Europa League, we'd either have to finish fifth, sixth, depending on what people do. Maybe if they win the FA Cup and they're in fifth or maybe sixth place gets it. But to try and secure ourselves, I'd like to see how far we can go in the FA Cup. And yeah, guys, uh, we're taking on West Brom. Hopefully we can beat them. Leicester City, let's see if we can bounce back with a big victory here against 11th place Leicester. We also do have, well, once the transfer window opens, you're gonna see a ton of players either leave on loan or maybe transfer out. I think Al Muqtada has himself a loan offer. Maybe even Spaya, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to start with our best lineup. Tunjov, Allen, Garner in the midfield, Nishimura, Skamaka, Cairns. Let's see if we can get something because that first match, it was just tough against Aston Villa. They really did defend well. Now with five at the back, Leicester City, Zuma with a big, big mistake last time that led to a Skamaka goal. Let's see if we can get a big one here. Oh, this is a different camera angle. Why do they keep saying back from injury? He was out for five days. He was literally out for five days. It's all right. I guess they know he's an important part. And I think he might have got back up to his 80 rating. I did see that, which is great. Because our midfield, 80, 80, 75. Maybe we could sign somebody big. But Alex Allen has been playing a lot better in that position, which... I'm very, very happy about, obviously, unable to get a goal in that first game. Alex Allen, like I said, I'd like to play him on the right, but we'll try Gardner and Alex Allen on the left today. See if maybe that makes a difference. Tunjov, going to try to get forward. As my starting, I tried to fix the undershirt, the sleeves, the, all that, but it's just not working as George Marsh now trying to take forward. Skamaka calling for it. Goes back to James Gardner. Tomohiro, can he turn? Lovely. By Tomohiro, just lets it go for Lance Cairns. And it's going to be another one of those. It's going to be another one of those. Okay, Cairns gets to it. All right, it's going to be another one of those. See, why is Koiki going, man? I don't understand. Tunjov. All right, good block. It comes right back out to them as the shot smashes off the bar, man. Al Sharani couldn't get there in time. I, man, I'm really, really not liking the five at the back. Maybe I could change it for them, but. I'm just gonna take it as it comes as George Marsh. Cairns, you need to get in, man. What are you doing? Mane trying to catch up to him after a missed opportunity to score last game. Well, he didn't really get anything, but I'm just saying he didn't score. As Alex Allen. Skamaka. Good ball from Tomohiro. Can he break around Kurt Zuma? Let it fly, man. Let it fly. Good save by Kepa. 
Just trying to get anything going, man. Because they're everywhere, there's five at the back. Koiki. Good touch by Cairns. Keep going. I don't understand why he stops, man. I'm trying to select as my... The shot by Brozovic. The save by El Sharani. Oh, and everything goes poorly. You, you can count on Al Sharani to be there. Great save right through Pavo Asmai. Looking for George Marsh. He's onside and don't tell me otherwise. That's George Marsh now. Looking to take it inside. Good stuff by Marsh. Got options in here. There's Lance Cairns. George Marsh, man. What a guy. And Cairns can't direct it on target. It's not hitting that one well. Goalkeeper Kepa, I think, was beaten, guys. Tomohiro. Tonjov. Alex Allen. Okay, being closed down straight away. He's going to go back to Tilo. George Marsh. Skamaka. Gives. Right back to Tomohiro. Good passing. This is Tonjov. Can he send in Skamaka? That's a good ball. Oh, that's a fantastic, fantastic assist by Georgi Tonjov. And it's Skamaka with his 13th goal of the season. A big part of why we're starting to score a lot more right now. But look at the play, guys. And a great ball in from Georgi Tonjov. Marsh, Tomohiro, great vision, one touch, back at the net. Finally breaking down this five at the back defense. And Kepa not saving that one. Got Spurs next, so I'd like a big result here. And maybe we can get revenge on Spurs for knocking us out of the Carabao Cup, which, you know, we wanted to win. But it's all right. There's always the FA Cup as Pavo as my... He got the ball, like, don't make him continue sliding. Man, he got the ball with a perfect challenge. And now with, like, the tight shirt I gave him, thought it was going to fix it, but still has this... Like, no. No. That's not a penalty, referee. That's not a penalty. As Al Sharani needs to come up big. Gomez smashes it off the post. Smashes it off the post. You know you messed up. When they make you miss the penalty, let's go, Asmai, that's not your fault. As Lucas Kamaka sends Tomohiro. Oh, guys, wake up, give him something. Cairns. Lance Cairns. George Marsh. Can he send the ball in to Skamaka? That's a good delivery. And Skamaka was over there, almost there. As Lance Cairns now. Go, Cairns. Good. Skill. And then Zuma. And then Zuma. He's off. He's off, guys. Tomohiro's off. Tomohiro's off. Go, Tomohiro. Looking to maybe cut inside. Nicely done by Tomohiro. Inside the box. Let's just drop it off for Alex. Allen shoots directly on the defender. Nishimura did all that for you to get such a poor shot. Good ball to George Marsh. Now Marsh. It's going to come back to George Marsh. Tomohiro. Gives it to James Garner. I'm looking to pull the trigger, but there's so many people here. Alex Allen. Good stuff, guys. Patience. We don't need to rush it. Don't need to rush it. As George Marsh now looking for somebody to send in. There's Alex Allen. With the bicycle kick, guys. If that's not goal of the season, guys, I don't know what is. Unless we score something even more spectacular. Alex Allen with, like, a nomination for goal of the season. Obviously, there's Skamakas, but this is gorgeous. And who's the guy delivering it in? It's George Marsh, Alex Allen. Let's go. He doesn't score much, but when he does, man, he makes it count. Great volley. 2-0. That's how it's going to finish, guys, I think. As Alex Allen. Fantastic goal, guys. Fantastic goal for Alex Allen. First goal in the Premier League this season. And now let's finally make a substitution. Even though it doesn't mean much. Let's get on Butcher. Let's get on Miguel. And let's also bring on... Uh, let's just go Roman Scott. Try and waste as much time as we possibly can. Great goal by Alex Allen, guys. Great goal. And do we have maybe time for one more if we continue pressing? How much time is added on? No, that's the end of the match, guys. It's Alex Allen. Fantastic goal. Skamaka scoring. Alex Allen scoring. Nobs FC 2. Leicester City nil. Now, what a signing George Marsh has been. Like, I, I, I can't say this enough, and I saw this in the comments as well, man. What a signing this guy has been. Look at him with his head up. Just chips it into Alex Allen. And that is a great bicycle kick for Alex Allen. And yes, I know I forgot to change Alex Allen's appearance. 
I saw that comment, but uh, it doesn't matter right now because he just scored a worldie. What a ball. What a goal. What a way to win, guys. And here we go with the youth players unsettled. Hopefully not any players that, you know, I want to bring into the club right now. Duma Tefu, the South African center back slash midfielder. I'm pretty sure, like I said, guys, he's better as a defender. Six foot three. Skinny arms. Because that makes sense. And I think somebody else. I'm going to take a look. But Duma Tefu, I guess. He's promoted to the senior team. Transfer window's coming up. We can maybe loan him out. And there's also El Sayed, the center back from Egypt. He's all right. But we already do have El Masri. So at this point, let's just go ahead and release him. Huesca looking to take in Weke Davies. He's been good for depth. But if he can play for Huesca on a short-term basis, which would probably be till the end of the season, I'm all for it. Let's accept it. The transfer window is about to open. Spurs, Nobs FC. Let's see if we can even like overtake them in the standings. And maybe Manchester City loses. We go on up the table. It would be, it would be great for us because we're going to have some big, big games coming. Like Man City, like Chelsea, like Liverpool. So try to make up as much ground here. But against a tough Spurs side who knocked us out of the Carabao Cup. All right, so they're pulling out the big lineup today. With Firpo on the left. Look at this. This this is like I said, guys. This is why maybe loaning in a midfielder during the transfer window could be something. It would obviously count as our second transfer. So maybe not a pre-contract signing. But we've been doing well. So I'm happy about that. The Alan Tunjov. 73, 73 for Gardner. So maybe I could start Matt Butcher as a defensive midfielder. Get Tunjov if he doesn't drop by that much. So yeah, he's had some fantastic games. So let's start Butcher. Only drops to a 75, which I'm all right about. And we're going to go Kara. We're going to go Asmayu. Had a fantastic game despite that stupid penalty. Wasn't his fault. And let's also get Nweke Davies on the bench. Because if he does get loaned out, hopefully he'll be loaned out in good form at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Harry Kane, Lamella, Burnley. Bergvine, Nabri, Casimiro, and Dede. They've got themselves a fantastic lineup. And they're finally making us wear our away kit. Also, this is around the time where I turn on my my uh, <laughs> my light over there. Skamaka, Premier League top goal scorer. So we shouldn't be fe fearing Spurs. They should be fearing us. And let's get revenge, guys. This is actually a gorgeous stadium. One day, we'll have a big stadium like this. So that's why we're going to need to use our money wisely and maybe save some by signing a loan instead and next season the stadium cost if we want to you know upgrade it because right now we're only at 15,000 seats maybe next season it's been three years we've been here so maybe we're looking to upgrade maybe to 20,000 25,000 for an Europa League it would be great for us but it'll cost a lot I'm thinking like a big sum of money to upgrade seats but i always go by seats the amount of money so i'll figure it out on my own time but we'll definitely try and upgrade the stadium next season which is going to cost money and and i'd like that because i, I want to see us progress and like i said guys from the beginning we had the smallest stadium with 9,000 seats if we could have went less it would have been perfect and built it up even more but we went from 9,000 to 15,000, I'd like to go 25,000, maybe one day have a, a 70, 65,000 seat stadium when we're in that Champions League, when we're fighting for trophies on a consistent basis. And right now, let's not focus on the stadium, let's focus on beating Spurs. No Tunjov today, he is the heart of our midfield, always seems to have the best rating, but it's all right, guys, he can come on at any point as Koike. Good block by João Cancelo. Struggling to get Cairns involved in this episode. Liverpool, Arsenal, Manchester United, Chelsea at the top of the table. Alex Allen. What a goal, man. What a goal for Alex Allen. That's what you want, man. That's exactly what you want. Because we were always struggling to maybe find his position. Trained as a defender, a defensive midfielder when we needed him to. And now we moved him a little bit higher up, which I'm happy about. Lance Cairns. We're able to just control the ball here. Eskamaka, can he send Nishimura? Good ball to Tomohiro. Just made like a half attempt at it. Nice, guys. Get this right back. Koiki. Alex Allen now. He is on his strong foot, so he can maybe whip in these early balls, but he's just going to dribble with it. Comes back to Butcher. Eskamaka, can he turn and maybe take the shot? Bergvine. It's a cross in by Burvine. There's Harry Kane. Is that, their, is that every team's game plan? Sprint up the wing. 
cross it in. Poor defending by me. I, I don't know where Marsh was. All right. Harry Kane. Uh, can't stop that. 1-0 down. And he's onside. Al Sharani was coming out. <laughs> trying to close down the angle. But like he was never going to shoot from there. Koiki. The spin. The spin. The spin. The more spins. Azmai trying to get the... Can I get this ball, please, man? I don't know how many times I have to go in for the challenge. Can I get the ball, please, man? Good ball to Garner. Marsh now getting forward. Good ball in front of him. As George Marsh now looking to maybe send in a cross. He has so many options. It's going to be just headed away. Comes back out to Butcher Marsh. Why are you running, man? Why are you running so early? You just took yourself out of the entire play. Alex Allen, one touch, goes for the shot. And it's blocked. And it's blocked. Tilo. It's going to be Harry Kane instead. It's the ball over the top. Yep, Sada coming. Burvine struggles to get a touch, but Marsh is there. Nicely done by George Marsh. How did we go from such a high with that bicycle kick to such a low in this game? As Tunjov, good interception. Lance Cairns now. Skamaka is in behind, but he's offside. Held the perfect line, the defenders. And Skamaka, man, <laughs> you didn't score. It's offside. <laughs> At least I know that maybe we can do something in the final couple of minutes. Lamela. When it just wants to go in the ball. You, it makes it known. Nabri from Lamela. 2-0 down. Lamela. Don't drop no foul, okay? Don't want to risk having a free kick. Firmino. Indidi. Firmino. There's no way that goes in. 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 3 0 down. Like, what is this? Like, what is that? Like, what is that? Firmino scoring his first goal in the Premier League. They signed him at the beginning of the season. They, have, they haven't played him. And. Man, these teams just sign and sign and sign. And Koike, you're going to need to... Tunjov, you're going to need to... Somebody, you're going to need to, like, wake up. 3-0 lost the Spurs. 3-0 lost the Spurs. That's frustrating. But at the end of the day, guys, it was always going to be tough. Hey, Butcher with uh, one of the best ratings. Two shots on target, but yet three goals. Because of the one that smashed off, like, the inside of the post, apparently. Next up is West Brom in our first match of the FA Cup. Let's take a look at who's leaving. We've got the Youth Squad Monthly Report. Mukhtar has left on loan. Vega has left on loan. And Spaya has been sold to Atlanta United, which is fantastic for him. He can get some game time. And the Youth Squad Monthly Report, I don't think I want to bring in anybody right now. Let's take a look, though, at how the players are maybe progressing on loan. Because we have a ton of them. And I'd like to see Kai Scone last time shot up by a lot. Emmanuel Seca now up to a 74. Right winger, striker, center forward. Codreanu, Romanian, doesn't look that good. Overguard has gone up by plus one. Ezek Wisili has gone up, which I'm very, very happy about. Playing for Inter Miami. El Masri up by plus three. So these are guys that we can continue to look at and loan out and see what they turn out to be. Malai, the Ugandan goalkeeper, 21 years old. Right now we have Isaac King, Hugh Nixon. I think maybe when he comes back, it's time to actually sell him on. Setia Bodhi. Hopefully, he's having some great games. We miss him. He's not forgotten about. 73 overall. Kai Skone has only gone up by plus two this season. Now 20 years old. Vega just left already up by plus one, but that's because he was playing with us. And honestly, very happy about how my players are actually performing on loan. Matt Butcher would like to play. I'm honestly thinking about it. Obviously, we'd like to go far in the FA Cup, but uh, yeah, I'll think about it. West Brom, I think maybe down in the championship, if I'm not mistaken. If they, they are in the Premier League, I don't remember playing them, but we're taking on West Brom. There is obviously a lot of good teams in the FA Cup, but I'm pretty sure I'm losing what I want to take a look at. West Brom are down in the championship because they're not up in the Premier League. And yeah, they're definitely not at the top of the table. So let's go Isaac King in goal. I, like I said, guys, if... I don't think by rotating the lineup, we're obviously going to stay competitive. Let's go Butcher and Roshan Williams at the back, which I'm perfectly fine with. Miguel probably going to come on. Tunjov Gardner is a little bit tired, so who should we be playing there? Should we be maybe playing Zeto in midfield? But he drops my minus 11. Dumatefu 
can't play there. We have a lot of defensive midfielders, which it, it's all right. Nishimura is going to start. Let's go. Cairns and Ismaili. Cairns has not scored today. And YK Davies, let's put him onto the bench. And let's also get Jensen instead of Asmai. Let's give him a rest. Marsh, let's give him a rest and put... I'm looking to loan out Paul Care. Let's put Zeroal and let's definitely bring him on. So fairly competitive lineup. I don't think we're going to lose. Really don't think we're going to lose, but at the same time, I still have my best players on the bench if I do need them. This one's at Nopes Park, and pretty sure this is the only episode we haven't worn our third kit. All right, gorgeous day at Nopes Park. Gorgeous day at Nopes Park. And if I'm not mistaken, at, at, at some point, they had Davide Calabria, or maybe they went down uh, to, the, to the championship. Maybe they sold him, or maybe they're just not playing him. I didn't notice if Isaac King, yes, his, sh his short sleeves are still stupid and with the skinny arms and he made some good saves when he did play in the Carabao Cup and obviously if we start playing big big teams we'll start Al Sharani who's now almost 80 rated which I'm so happy about Gardner maybe needs a rest at some point maybe we're gonna look to the transfer market to see if we can loan in a midfielder would be something good for us but for right now I'm not gonna think about that Alex Allen scored that fantastic bicycle kick and let's get the dub boys let's get the dub Tomohiro Need you to step up your game today. I'm sorry, man. You need to step up your game. As Cairns. Finding Indrit. He's smiling inside the box. Maybe looking to shoot. Good drilling by Indrit. Patience, Indrit. Garner finds Cairns. He turns. He shoots. He misses. See, I'll never understand why Koiki went for that. And he just took himself out of the play. Cyprien. Poor pass. Good block by Ali. Now Georgi. Go, guys. Tunjov. Nice dribbling by Tunjov. Oh, great ball to Tomohiro. Oh, great ball to Tomohiro by Georgi. Tunjov and Nishimura scoring. Great stuff by Georgi. Nishimura back on the stats today. <laughs> this time with the goal. Didn't get an assist today, but it's all right. Tunjov, fantastic ball. Beautiful. And Nishimura, finally. Let's go. First goal in the FA Cup. Okay, Tunjov. Now that's Kerrids now. Now Lance Cairns now. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Alex Allen. Great run by Alex Allen. Can he send Ismaili? It's going to find Tomoe. Oh, what a goal. Oh, what a goal. The fact that Nishimura got to a header, that makes it even better. Nishimura scoring a brace. He's on a hat trick. Can he get it? I don't know, but that's a fantastic cross by Alex Allen. What an episode he's having. Honestly... I'm thinking of not even waiting till next episode. Pretty sure this guy's my player of the episode. Not just because the goals and the assists. It's just he's been doing well in his new position. And I'd like to give him a boost. And I'm pretty sure he deserves it. And I feel like you guys would actually agree with me. Go, Ali. Get in there, Indrit. Get in there, Indrit. Great ball from Ali. Koiki and Akanji. He lets Nishimura go, but he doesn't make Indrit score. Come on, man. Nice ball to Enweke. Ismaili. Keep going, guys. Find Cairns. Drops it back into Ismaili. Jerome Watson. Enweke. Enweke. Good save by Musso. Watson. Alex Allen. Good ball to Alex Allen. Let's pull it back into Cairns. Great ball. Lance Cairns now struggling to get a touch and takes the shot. <laughs> Can't score. Alex Allen. Great ball. Zero out. Man, just make this game even more boring. What in the world was that? It's not where I passed the ball. Nice block, Zero All. That's GG, boys. That's GG. Into the next round. We'll see who we'll take on. Honestly, Alex Allen, I don't even think I need to vote. I don't even think I, I need you guys to say it. Pretty sure he's my player of the episode. 8.8 .8 for Alex Allen. Just seals the deal. I'll do it starting in the next episode like I did for Al Sharani. Currently, guys... In the Premier League, we're, we're in seventh place, which is great. Butcher, thanks for listening. Player returning from loan. Let's take a look at who it is. It's Patrick Malai. Probably have to loan him out once again, or maybe keep him, loan out Isaac King, because we're giving him the game time, which I'm happy about. But Malai, he did have some good games when he did play for us. And right now, Al Sharani with eight clean sheets, which I'm very happy about. Skamaka, 14 goals three assists Karen six goals six assists a lot of assists for Karen's man I feel like he assists more than he scores he should be like a center forward almost Nishimura with five goals four assists slowly catching up and trying to be back to his best but 
it's gonna come guys Ismaili two goals in nine games which is really not bad for Indrit Ismaili now up to 69 he's still developing still happy about that but uh yeah he can't get to that much maybe I could switch around his development plan Garner Alex Allen Roman Scott with a goal and Alex Allen what a goal it was two assists for Alex Allen six for Lance Cairns if you guys have enjoyed this episode you guys can leave me a like down below what a goal from Alex Allen and I will see you next time